Betty, show us your new Gertie. Oh, yes. Can you believe the day has come? I will present to you my new 18-stringed, custom-made hurdy-gurdy. And it's made by Walter Siemens, just like with the other one. But this model is much bigger in volume, sound, tone and note range. The model itself is called TK10, but I made my instrument maker alter some things. This instrument has built-in mics as well, just like my last one. But I think I will make an extra video about Gertie amplification, as I get a lot of questions about it anyways, alright? I will quickly lead you through the string tunings, and then I will explain the extras that were specifically made for me. So just like on my last Gertie, I have three drone strings on this one. A low C. A super low C. And a G, which is currently tuned to F. If you want to get capos as well, it's usually possible to add them. Just ask your Gertie Luthier. Now I have four melody strings. A G, a D and a high G. And now the new one is a low C, which is also the viola string low C. And still the keys go up to two octaves chromatically. And now we'll get to the three trumpets, which means it's one more than on my last Gertie. A C trumpet. A D trumpet with a capo to an E. And a G trumpet with a capo to an A that I do sometimes turn down to an F. Remember when I told you that I needed to detune my trumpet when I wanted to play with my band? I technically no longer have to do that, this problem is solved now. So as you may have noticed, now I have 8 sympathetic strings. The good thing about dividing them into 4 and 4 is that you for example can make chords with them. Now let's move on to the things that were specifically adjusted for me. <laughs> As you may have noticed, the green is much brighter now. And you can watch a video about the staining of the instrument right here and in the description. And especially the part where the keys come up over here is now a bit brighter, so we very carefully stained it. We were trying to increase the color contrast between the black keys and the bright green over here so that it will be easier for me to play concerts in the dark or with flashing lights. Also, I'm currently testing my drone holders. They are done here and they have been cut in a way so that I can put them on very quick and smooth. It's so much fun. We were trying to eliminate any items on this handle side. Because sometimes when you play a lot the handle starts to bend a bit to this direction so that it actually goes like this and then sometimes if you're unlucky it will even scratch the wood and as you can see now there's not much going on here and it's pretty flat even if i will tackle the microphone topic in a video later i wanted to show you my mute switch the mute switch is up here and it will make silent tuning so much easier and quicker on stage and we moved all the volume buttons from here to here for a better accessibility. Although I have to test it first if it's really a good place. There is no bigger danger of hitting it with my elbow while playing, so I need to get some stage experience first with this instrument before I can tell you if that was a good idea. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments. If you already see your question in the comments, please give it a like so that it pops up first and I can see it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like or a sub if you found this helpful. Bye bye.